So 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum. We're up and early. I kind of talk low because I don't want to wake everybody up, right? Heart, that's your job. Yours and bubbles. So just talk about here's what we're doing 5 a.m. Mr. Scrum. Please subscribe. We're just growing. This is the third show. Uh, I'm going to talk about blockers. And yeah, I have it in my book, my little book, my daily book. And I went through my list. And today's Friday at work. So there ain't going to be, they're not a lot. Well, everybody fills their scheduled meetings on Fridays, right? Because, hey, the calendar's open. So let's put four meetings on Friday. It's like, eh, thanks. I usually use that day to do some catch up work and some notes. Um, but blockers. You know, I go to companies and people are scared to post blockers up. Uh, I say use the system to its greatest extent. Um, blockers are in rally, cheer, they, they, um, they flag it, you know, use the flags. And the reason why it's there so everybody can see what it is and you can track it in the database. But people are scared. Oh no, don't do it. Um, they're going to tell me, why did you make a blocker and you brought up some bad things? Hey, look, people need to know when issues are blocked. Unless you're telling them every day, you need you need to flag it as a block so that it can get broadcast out so the, the scrum masters can do their job. Your teammates will see it. You know, how is this teammates they're gonna know you're blocked if you don't put it up there? Um, managers, they always ask me, well, what's my job? Well, your job is to remove blockers. <laughs> how are they gonna see the blocker if you don't mark them blocked? Then you're then everybody's well, but that means everything's broken. And we can't do it. This is, well, if we can't bring people to fix it, then you're going to sit there for two days waiting for stuff to happen. I've had many teams where I used to Scrum Master. And people would tell me two days two days later, well, I can't get access to the system. I'm like, really? Did you copy me? Well, I sent a request out to the help desk or whoever it was. And, and they didn't help me. It's like, okay, look, sometimes it's better having two people, like, email the organization saying, hey, if and if that doesn't work, I just go up to their boss and say, hey, my guy's un unconnected. It's $100 an hour or whatever the rate their company's charging us to use them. Uh, it's eight hours. That's $800. Do you have $800? Please fix your connection. You know, so I just find it amazing how um, people are afraid Maybe that's a trust factor thing. We can do a whole thing on trust. They always talk about trust. I used to always laugh at trust and, oh, what's the trust thing and why are we doing it? Um, but it does have something this, about it. The people are worried that if they have blockers, it'll show that they don't know what they're doing. And that's not true. Actually, you are more aware of what you're doing and how you're doing it by identifying the blocker rather than maybe it'll I'll fix it. It's not about you fixing. It's about having people help you. And that's why we develop scrum teams. One, we're recording and we're live. I have no idea what this is doing. We're live. Hope everybody can hear me out there in the world. And uh, there's Hart. She probably got her drink of water. Now she's back. <laughs> 